Hello and welcome to this week's Angel Oracle card reading for week commencing the 6th of May 2024. My name is Ray and I'm a guide who helps you remember your divine presence so that you can heal your past, find your purpose, create your future, raise your consciousness, understand why you are here, come out of that spiritual closet, find the next steps to take so that you really truly can become who you are truly meant to be so that you can spread your wings and soar and bring greatness and magic and love to the world. Now this week we're going to be using the Magical Unicorn Oracle Cards by Doreen Virtue. They called to me today saying that we need some fun and laughter in our lives so uh, bring out the unicorns as we always do. But before we get into this week's Angel Oracle card reading, as always, I would like to say thank you so, so much for your continued support. It really does mean a lot to me to be able to be of service to you and for you to trust me enough to use my services. So I'm truly blessed and grateful. So thank you so much. And with that in mind, um, you know, do check out my Future Life Progression Practitioners training that's taking place on the 17th, 18th, 19th of July around that weekend, um, where I will actually um, train you to become a future life progression practitioner so that you can take people forwards and backwards in time. You can add it to an existing business or create a new business or a sideline with it. And of course, doing the training, you get to practice on your fellow students so you get to see your future, your past. Um, it's an absolutely amazing training, one of the best trainings I ever took and I'm so privileged and blessed that I can actually train people now. There is an early bird offer going, but that will finish um, in June. So if you don't want to miss out, then do, uh, ch do check it out. The link will be in the comments. So as always, I give the cards a quick cleanse and a bless. So what does everyone who's watching this need to know for their highest good? For week, oh, let's go with that one. For week commencing the six. Okay. We'll go with these three cards then. So we have got water. Drink more water and eat foods with water in them, such as fresh fruits and vegetables. Good reminder at this time of the year. Love from your parents. No matter what, your mother and father love you as much as they can. And family culture. Learn more about your family's stories and history. Okay, so what the um, cards and the angels and the universe are saying for you this week is that this is a week to actually start looking at what you put into your body. Um, you know, uh, food, drink, um, even emotions, you know, this is a week to think about what you eat, what you drink, how you think, how you feel. You know, we're all guilty of it, including myself. You know, I know I need to be drinking so much water a day. And sometimes things get so busy that I forget to do that. And I do feel it when I don't drink um, enough water. So even if you can't make too many changes, do drink water, you know, and if you can drink filtered water, um, you know, that's taken out harmful chemicals, etc. just so that you get that vibrant life force within you. And if you can't drink filtered water, then obviously tap water is okay for you, as long as you get some kind of um, liquid, you know. Even, um, you know, don't overdo the, the fruit juices, um, but if you do need to drink fruit juice, then make sure it's from the actual fruit itself with no nothing else added to it, um, you know, and the fresh fruit and vegetables, try and be as organic as you possibly can. Um, you know, buy local if you can, you know, support the farmers. You, you know, the more we support farmers, the more we support organic things, then the cheaper they will become in the long run. We don't want to be priced out, you know, so that we're buying genetically modified fruit and vegetables all the time. So this week, really look at what you're eating, drinking, putting into your body, and also look about the self-care and love that you give to yourself, you know, which is why it's so important to actually look at your family history this week, to look at your ancestors, speak to parents, to grandparents, to aunts, to uncles, you know, find out as much as you possibly can about your family history. 
You may find some nuggets in there about health. You know, you may come, you know, maybe certain recipes that your grandma had that are really healthy that you can use now. You know, it could be you learn about an illness that a family member recovered from. You know, you, this week, really look into your ancestors, your history. What is it about your family that you can use, you know, in your current life to help you with a healthy lifestyle, to help you move forward in your life? And know that no matter what's happened um, with your parents, whether um, they've passed, they abandoned you, they were cruel, whatever, you know, you chose to come into this world. And at the moment you were conceived, you were wanted, whether you realised it or not, whether they realised it or not. But know that on the spiritual level, on an emotional level, in the other dimensions, you are unconditionally loved. You know, and parents don't need to be biological parents. They can be grandparents. They can be step parents. Anyone who's been a parent figure to you, you know, know that they love you unconditionally. They've always loved you unconditionally. And when you connect into that family um, history, your ancestors, you'll find out so much more that can help you move forward in your life and be that emotional um, release, that emotional stability for you. And if you don't have any family still alive, you know, try and look at um, history, genealogy, meditate, do and, you know, do guide meditations that take you to meet your ancestors, your departed loved ones. You know, I do, a, um, you know, I can help you um, with a guided meditation. Um, it's a future life progression training, actually, that takes you into future lifetime to meet a departed loved one. So you can say what you want to say, gain, gain clarity, etc. But there are so many different guided meditations and ways out there of connecting with departed loved ones, um, you know, that you can get an idea of that family history. So this week really is about your emotional and physical well-being. So drink more water, eat more healthier foods like fresh fruit and vegetables, organic and filtered water if you possibly can. Look at your family history, whether that's with living relatives, through um, genealogy things, whether that's through guided meditations. And know that, no, um, you know, whatever parents, whether live, departed, grandparents, step parents, whoever you feel has been a parent to you, that they do love you unconditionally, whether they're still alive or they're not alive. Um, they may not just not realise it in their physical form, but on a spiritual level, we are all loved, we are all supported. So yeah, that's all the cards are saying to me um, this week. So again, this is my interpretation of the cards and you may get a completely different reading and that's absolutely fine. I draw these cards for what you need to know for your highest good. And of course, the cards quite often jump out. So I'll show you the cards again. We have water. Drink more water and eat foods with water in them, such as fresh fruits and vegetables. Love from your parents. No matter what your mother and father love you as much as they can. And family culture. Learn more about your family stories and history. And I feel this is the most important card this week um, for you. So please do let me know in the comments whether these cards uh, made any sense to you. One card resonated more than the other. I always reply to everyone who comments, either publicly or privately. So please do let me know. And of course, do drink, do drink water, which I sometimes do forget to do. And of course, you know, do check out my Future Life Progression um, training. It would be lovely to be able to train you so that you can go on and use this brilliant modality um, to help not just you, but other people in your, in your life, whether you do it as a business, side hustle, or just do it for fun. And of course, don't forget to check out my show, Angels and Destiny, which you'll be watching this on Sunday. It's taking place on, Mon uh, taking place, um, on Monday the 6th. 
at 8 p.m. UK time. And if you're watching later in the week, then do watch the replay. I've got the lovely Lauren Dickinson on my show, and I'm really looking forward to that conversation. So please do join us. Have a wonderful week. Enjoy the sunshine when it comes out. Smile, be happy. Call in the unicorn. Spread some unicorn love. And I'll speak to you next week. Take care. Bye.